Monster Kids and welcome to Marshall at the Movies, your weekly peek at Zavi's Must Haveys. Today I'm going to gush like Niagara Falls over a film that has instantly become an all time favourite of mine, The Black Phone, a bona fide suspense classic from director Scott Derrickson. Taut, lean and unnervingly scored, dark but fun and just beautifully crafted, it's based on a short, sharp Joe Hill story and blends a wide and disparate variety of influences into a Moorish and mouthwatering movie stew. Familiar to some extent, yet still fresh and full of surprises, it's like your favourite food, only cooked by a Michelin star chef. There's a soup song of Silence of the Lambs with a pinch of the Sixth Sense, but also a twist of the Karate Kid, a whiff of the Great Escape, and even a spritz of a Christmas Carol with a tantalising Twilight Zone glaze, and gosh, I'm hungry now. Set in 70s small town USA, there's nostalgia to be had for sure, but it's cut by danger everywhere. Sensitive 13-year-old Finney, played by the soon-to-be insanely famous Mason Thames, and his younger sister Gwen, played by charismatic Madeline McGraw, are tighter than your average siblings because, well, they have to be. He's a popular target with bullies, and there's only so many times his feisty, clairvoyant sister can save him. They're also trapped in a horrible home situation with an abusive alcoholic father, played by Jeremy Davies, and worse still, with kids from school being snatched off the street by a mysterious local psychopath, it's not long before Finney finds himself trapped in a dark, dank, soundproof basement dungeon held prisoner by the Grabber, masked, unhinged and played with insane skill by Ethan Hawke. Forced to finally stick up for himself, Finney finds unlikely allies at the end of a disconnected black phone hanging on the dungeon wall. I just give this film all the Oscars. It's that well played and thoughtfully made with style for miles and genius old school effects. It's a masterclass in movie making, frightening, exciting and dramatic with humour hiding in even the darkest spaces and you're so invested in it all. Honestly, the edge of your seat's gonna be on the edge of its seat.